guys, it's Beast Guy here. Welcome to another episode of Ride Along. I've got B-Man. What up? Last one of the year, folks. Last one of the year, yeah. So, Survivor Series recap video. Also, going to be talking about the new GTA video game. The first trailer dropped. Excited. But yeah, let's start with Survivor Series. Yeah, that was something else, eh? Hey, fucking, I know, now you can really say never say never when it comes to WWE. Fuck, man. Why CM is Punk? It? I called that and I got a bone to pick with you on that. So this man, you know it's not going to happen, right? And well, it happened. Okay, but I mean, it's been almost 10 years. The guy said he hates being there. Yeah. And then he just shows up out of nowhere, you know? But it was being reported all over. It's kind of obvious. But yeah, but, but it, I mean, come on. Everything gets reported. Yeah. Not even half of it comes true. Yeah, but this So I was right. But you were so assertive. He's not coming back. And of course, Randy Orton came back. Yeah, after looking like... Looking jacked as ever. Oh, man, was he ever. After like five minutes after his he was supposed to come out at, in his, in his uh, spot in the War Games match. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, crazy. Well, okay, like, honestly, that happens a lot nowadays. You got you got guys coming in multi-man matches. You got guys coming out long after they're supposed to be and they're still being allowed to compete and wrestle. Yeah. Like, like first time I remember it happening was uh, 2020, Roman Reigns first won the Universal title. It was a triple threat match between him, uh, Braun Strowman, and Bray Wyatt. Mm -hmm. And then, like, Braun and Bray were fighting for, like, at least 10 minutes. And then Roman comes out, signs the contract, enters the match, and wins it. Like, that's so... I don't know why they do that. Like, isn't that, some, isn't that like, technically illegal? Yeah, Again, it's anything goes, but still. Yeah. So weird. Ah, so, uh, Team Cody won War Games, no shocker there. I kind of figured it would have since Randy Orton was coming back, and then, uh, Team Bianca won again, beating Damage Control. Almost the same way it happened in the fall, the previous year, too, because, uh, the, uh, Team Bianca won by Becky putting somebody through a table to end the match. Yeah. Well, yeah for the first time was, like, a leg drop, and then the second time, this time was the manhandle slam. Uh, no exit. Oh, shit, really? Yep. Let's see where this goes. I'm starting to get these two balls. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. I think you're supposed to go pull soon. Oh. Anyway, um. Yeah, there's that. Uh. Well, somebody's. Somebody got a beat in you? No. What did they be in? I don't know. So, no titles changed hands, no surprise there. Although the Miz versus Gunther was actually a pretty decent match, and I gotta give credit, they almost had me there for a second. Miz, on uh, Miz actually maybe winning the match, but no, Gunther retains because of course he does. I mean, he's really like a lot lately. They've been going, they've been having a lot of long title reigns. You had Roman Reigns, you had Gunther, uh, but this isn't the first time Gunther's actually had a long title reign because remember he was NXT UK champion for over two years. Well, part of it was because of the pandemic, of course, but still. And then, like, uh, before she dropped the title, Bianca Belair, I think, had a reign of over 400 days or something yeah, like I that. Know. How the fuck should I know? <laughs> Clearly. Be like, let's go out and explore. Yeah, let's not just say we did. <laughs> well, no, because now we have video evidence that we didn't. Yeah. Oh, I see. You probably weren't the only one. Anyway, yeah, so. Um. Mm -hmm. to, uh, CM Punk's supposedly on SmackDown tonight. And then on Raw, Anna Pierce is going to try and sign him to a Raw deal. And then uh, Randy Orton's now officially on SmackDown after he came out. He came back on SmackDown last week and he, he signed a SmackDown contract. And then he RKO's fucking uh, uh, what the fuck's his name again? Uh, Nick Aldis. That was pretty funny. Oh yeah. And then of course he beats up the Bloodline, so he's gonna probably. I imagine it's gonna be Randy versus Roman at the Rumble, and then like we're gonna. Oh, I think that's Down Street Park. What's that? I think that was Down Street Park. I'm not too sure. It's not up there, is it? 
Don't you park is around here, yeah. Sure, I think that's what all this is on the left. So yeah, so it looks like we're going to get Randy versus Roman at the Rumble and then it's going to pivot somehow into Cody Rhodes getting a rematch. I don't know. I don't think I want to. It, it, it's weird because if he doesn't win the Rumble, then he's going to have to go to SmackDown and probably win the Chamber yeah. if he wants to face Roman, which is kind of weird too. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. <sighs> so that's uh, I guess all I want to say about WWE for the most part. It's still crazy though. It still feels surreal that CM Punk's actually back, you know? Anyway, yeah. That's pretty much all I wanted to say about it. Yeah, um, anything else wrong? Uh, no. Oh, there is actually one other thing I'm interested in, and that's yeah. the new. That's uh, this upcoming Intercontinental, or not Intercontinental, United States Championship Tournament that, uh, qualifier. We got eight. You're gonna have eight guys. You got um, Owens, Austin Theory, uh, Grayson Waller, Santos Escobar. I think I think Dragon Lee's in it. Yeah. Oh yeah, the tournament. Yeah. Dragon Lee. Um, who else? Uh, I think L I think LA Knight's in the tournament, and then there's like a NXT guy who's supposed to be brought up for the tournament. Now I don't know who that's going to be, but my guess is probably Carmelo Hayes, because I think they need because I think they they have like four heels and like three faces in the tournament, so they're probably going to add him be the fourth guy, the eighth guy, and then the one who's probably going to face Logan Paul at probably the Royal Rumble. Um. Uh, uh, it's, our, it's probably going to be Kevin Owens because they've been like uh, teasing that for a little while now. They had a confrontation last week on SmackDown, Owens and Logan Paul, so <sighs> I guess we'll see. But yeah, I think that's about it. Hopefully Logan Paul loses the title soon, really, because I mean, uh, the freaking SmackDown not having any champions, that's just so dumb. And so uh, what's, what's there to fight for? What's there for anybody to fight for? The tag team titles? They're on Raw. Speaking of which, I'm actually surprised the Creed brothers are getting a tag team title shot soon, which is going to be interesting. If you've been following them on NXT, they, they're like a really good tag team. So they, I hope, I hope they win the titles. They probably won't, but I hope they do. That'd be really fun to see. Now, I now I think that's everything. About Raw, I mean, wrestling, yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, AEW is coming here in March. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So that's gonna be exciting. Can't wait to see Edge and Christian and all the guys. Um, that's if they're booked. Also, end of the month we have the we have a holiday tour coming here. Yeah, that's um, gonna be fun. Yeah, gonna be super lit. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Um, so the GTA um, trailer dropped. Looks pretty cool. So there's going to be a female main character. Um, first time ever, and it's gonna and it's also going to be in Vice City. Um, the graphics look amazing, um, and it's coming out in two years, so save up your money. Um, but yeah, looks super lit. Can't wait. Um, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. What do you have to say about it? I'm not really into that sort of stuff. I've never been into the GTA series. I've like played, I think Vice City just a little That's bit. That's what I was just talking about. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's gonna I be played it like a little bit, but I wasn't all that into it, so I just stopped. One thing about that live show tour you were talking about, actually, now that I remember, is supposedly there was a, it was going to be a triple threat between McIntyre, Nakamura, and Rollins for the world title. But some uh, I don't know because I know I know it's card stuff that could change, and they always end up changing the card anyway. I was kind of but apparently some guy in the comment section of a, a video talking about. One of the wrestling videos, I forget which one exactly, but he was talking about WWE also has a live show apparently, I think in uh, Las Vegas on yeah. the same night, and then apparently that match is being advertised for there instead. Oh wow! So I don't know. One of one of us is well, one of us is going to get it. Don't really what? know who. Um, the Steel Cage? No, no, no. Triple Threat. 
McIntyre versus Nakamura versus uh, Rollins for the world title. Oh yeah. I think we're still gonna get the steel cage match, Cody Rhodes versus Damian Priest, but I don't know. We'll see. That could be card subject to change too. Yeah. Who knows? I guess we'll see when the when the show happens. Oh yeah, also, I seen on Facebook yesterday, on the Walt Disney World Facebook page, Mickey and Minnie were in Toronto visiting. That's all they posted. So there's some rumors that we might be getting a Disney park. Where, I don't know. Yeah, um, do we even have room for it? Toronto itself is a big city. Um, they were at the harbor front, so that makes me wonder about maybe if they turn Center Island into some sort of a... Disney attraction, which has been rumored for a while. Um, of course, we've got the redevelopment of Ontario Place, but I doubt that that will happen there. They were at the bottom of Polson Street, so that's where Rebel is. I don't, I really can't see anything going in there. Or maybe it was just them being here, but there were some um, rumblings that we might be getting a Disney park. It could be hell expensive, too. I really don't think it'll be Wonderland, because, like, as you know, no, Wonderland's they, doing fine. They just bought Six Flags. I don't think they want to go, but maybe if they, anything, sorry, go ahead. No, I was gonna say maybe they should move. Maybe they should take over Marine Land. That's a that's a rumor too. Um, but that has been rumored that they might take over that. But why would you be in Toronto and not be like, hey, we're in Niagara Falls? He he he. You know what I mean? So. It's, it's true, but that's the only place I can think of where it might work out because, as you said, yeah, I don't, they're not going to Ontario Place. They're I not going to take over Wonderland. Well, there's all but, but then again, they were at the harbor front, so maybe maybe some sort of a Centerville merger. I'm not expecting a huge theme park. I don't think that, yeah, well, that's what I was going to say. I don't think they have that much room for that. No, and, and then also, I think they're expanding the Toronto Islands to build some sort of an office tower, why I don't know. But um, they may take over what's there, but again, if they bring a Disney World park here, it would have to be year round, right? Yeah. Because like, as you know, on, on Disney is year round in the States, you know, they have their Christmas theming, they have their Christmas day parades and shit like that. So uh, on Disney would have to build a lot of indoor rides because like in Florida and in California, it's basically summer year round. They don't get a lot of snow, so they can yeah, have exactly. their ride year That's round. Another problem. So, so it'd be interesting to see if they were to come here. But then again, the other rumor is they were just here to basically say, hey, if you're from Canada, we have a discount for you, use this. But there's been nothing really confirmed yet. It was just that cryptic post that they were here. Um, so they were not doing meet and greets. They weren't doing anything. Although when I went to Gerard Square today, it said that Mickey and Minnie Mouse were going to be there tomorrow. But I don't think that that was a Disney Disney approved event. I think that was just the mall doing it. But it's just something to keep an eye on. But when you go onto their Instagram page on Disney World, um, they didn't post it there. So that's a little bit funny. Hmm. So something to keep our eye on going forward. I'm very excited for them because you know we. I've always wanted to go to Disney World, but it's like very expensive. Yeah, um, I can imagine it is. It is very expensive. Um, but yeah. So, what are your thoughts on it, Brandon? I didn't really got into any of your thoughts. <sighs> are you a fan of Disney? Would you? No, I'm not. The they, they, they went. They went too woke over the years. They're all about the freaking. They're all about. Um, they're not about profit anymore. They're about activism. Just... Um, I would rather have liked to have seen maybe like a Universal Park. That maybe would have been good too. I just want somebody to take over Marine Land already because it's just like it's deteriorating year after year. Is nobody, it for sale Nobody yet? ever. I, haven't I don't heard know. Much from that. Nobody ever goes there hardly. I think it's still owned by Marie Coulter or whatever her name is. I don't think she sold yet. The wife of the guy who initially... Yeah, I don't think she sold yet, but I do know that they're under a lot of scrutiny. A lot of the animals are dying. Um, yeah, there's that too. I mean, but my, my my point is, is the fact that, like I said, nobody hardly ever goes there anymore. It's it's so bad that I remember. I think the last couple of years they were basically if you bought a if you bought a day pass, they would upgrade it to a season pass for free. That's how desperate they were to get people to buy passes. 
they definitely need to do something. But now the thing about uh, a Marine Land is, and um, let's talk about this. Have you been to Marine Land? Recently? Not since I was a kid. So here's the thing with that place. That plot of land is huge. Very huge. I think it's like a hundred acres They haven't acres even built something. everything on it yet. Like there's vacant land. Acres. And also, they own the land around it too. So yeah. they own the office buildings, the warehouses. So they have a huge amount of land. Like if they tore down those office and warehouse buildings, they own a shit ton of land. Like it's massive. Mm -hmm. Like, like the park is a small slab. Um, so whoever buys that, that's huge prime land. Developers are dying for that because obviously like, you could build a lot of housing there. But if you're a theme park investment group, that's also big too because like you can build a resort. You know exactly. what I mean? Like, even if let's say MGM or even a casino branded company would actually want to take over, like there's a lot of opportunity on that land. Um, get rid of the animals so then you don't have to deal with the controversy. You rip up the honestly keep some of the rides but rip up the pens and all that and build a resort yeah that's not a bad idea there's a lot of opportunity for that land and there I know was, the mayor is very key on that I know there was talk about SeaWorld possibly coming in and taking over but then really yeah. that went through but now my thing is too Marine Land is just outside of Niagara Falls mm -hmm. and there's no bus service so if they built some some sure. kind of a park or something like you would have to really have like have like a bus service going there because because yeah like a lot of people, people are you like, sure i could have sworn i've seen one that says one bus that goes to marine land it's not very accessible if you don't have a car although no that that is true but i'm i'm pretty sure there's at least one bus that goes there is there okay then maybe i'm wrong but still like they need to make it a lot more accessible like it's in a very oh absolutely area. i'm not gonna argue with that on that yeah you know there's a lot of you know there's a lot of opportunities um well, let's see what happens. Yeah, well, hopefully they'll... Because I think... <sighs> I, I, I really hope... Because I, I, I do not see Marine Land making it out of the decade. There's no, no. way. Oh, no. They, like I said, every every video I watch, there's barely anybody there. Like, people go there. And we're talking, like, probably, like, the middle of the... Well, probably, like, middle of the week, but maybe on the weekend, too. You don't hardly see anybody. Yeah. So... I don't know, I guess we'll see. Um, so one other thing I want to actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is the, the LRT. Mm. Eglinton, specifically the Eglinton it's one. It's going to be open soon, folks. No, it's not. Well, speaking of which, we're almost at Finch, Finch LRT. Yeah, that's an, I, I think that one's going to get done before the Eglinton <laughs> West does. So they sold a thing today they did a tour of of like the young station part of it yeah and they were and they be and people who were there basically saying like it was a whole lot of nothing yeah well like, oh, we still don't know when the oh we're sorry we still don't know when the lrt is gonna be the open CEO doesn't even know yeah, no. yeah exactly that's fucking that's the height of incompetency he'll give us a three month me. notice yeah okay been saying that that's been being built since 2011 i was in grade 11 i'm now 29 years old so that'll tell you yeah I was fucking 23 years old. I'm yeah, 35. We were, we were in our prime and looked fucking good, okay? <laughs> speak for yourself. That's why I said we. No, that's why I said speak for yourself. Yeah. We both looked good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're forget it. Anyway. I think they knew you back there, right? Uh, no. Well, I th maybe. When did I start going to the theater? Fuck, I, I have no idea. I think I knew you. Fuck, we're almost at Jaden Fence. Uh huh. Did you come got Rando Nodding once here with me and Daniel? Possibly. I don't I think, remember. Yeah, it was a long time knew, ago. Yeah, cause like we, because like we went to Grand like Ravine and shit. I know I've been, uh, I mean, I've been up here a few times on a ride along. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like honestly, this is really getting, uh, it's re and it's really getting on people's nerves. Yeah. Everybody's sick and tired of it. It's just like, oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna be ready in 2022. Oh no, maybe 2023. Oh, maybe 2024. We'll see. Yeah. It's just people are just like, oh, just get it over with already. <laughs> yeah. It's one thing after another. You know why they're doing it is because they're freaking money. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Of course. That's why. That's why they're taking so damn long. They're milking as much money as they can out of it. 
And then the stupid CEO still getting like raises and fucking bonuses and shit. Like fire is dumbass. That's what I would have done. Uh, yeah, I mean it's not really affecting me all that much, but I feel for the people who live along Eglinton. I really do. Oh yeah, a lot of the businesses and shit. Yeah. Businesses and the residents. Of course. Especially, especially along the, especially at the, the corner of Young and Eglinton. That's where the most construction still is, I think. Anyway, yeah, that's all I wanted to really say about that. For sure. I'm trying to think of anything else we talk about. Do you have anything else? No, really? Yeah, I can't really think of anything either, yo. So we're going to wrap this right now. Yeah. You guys have a lit day, a lit weekend, whatever. Peace. Yeah, have a good Christmas, guys, and Happy and New and Year. And also, Merry, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas and a happy go to hell. <laughs> See you guys. Peace. Do anything I would do, Stan. He's stealing my bet. <laughs>